Hi there, my name is Chris Kilby. I'm a pastor in a pergola. And here is today's bite-sized Bible from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 15 and 16. And I want to talk to you today about the truth that revelation brings worship. Revelation brings worship. You know, during lockdown, my beautiful daughter, Millie, got married. And, and when I first saw her in her dress, I, I just looked at her and all I could say was, wow, wow. And, uh, you know, a number of years ago, we had a family holiday uh, to the Italian lakes and... My, my lasting memory of that time is sitting uh, on a terrace overlooking a beautiful purple reflection of a sunset in Lake Como. And again, in that moment, all I could say was, wow, wow. And, uh, you know, from time to time, I have the great privilege of traveling to minister in Nepal, uh, in the Himalayas. And when you see the sunrise over those incredible peaks again all you can really say is wow wow and and in the verses we're going to look at just now Paul catches a glimpse of something magnificent again and it leads him to say wow and the thing he glimpses isn't a dress or a lake or a sunset or a sunrise it's a fresh glimpse of God in Jesus and this is what he says God the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, who alone is immortal and who lives in unapproachable light, who no one has seen or can see. To him be honour and might forever. Amen. So, so Paul, re, Paul writes this, and as he's writing, you can hear him, catching a fresh glimpse of the majesty of God, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, unapproachable light. No one has seen him. No one can see him. And then he turns that to, to praise. And he says, to him be honour and might forever. And so, so Paul, as he's catching a glimpse of Jesus again, he, the result is worship. Revelation brings worship. And he's just saying, wow, wow. So Paul turns from theology to doxology. He turns from describing God to worshipping God. And this is my suggestion for you today. Why don't you spend a few moments meditating on who God is again? And as you realise afresh his majestic and per perfect beauty, let that lead you into worship today. You maybe need to catch a fresh glimpse of him today. Maybe today you need to look at him and say, wow, wow. I'm Chris Kilby, a pastor in a pergola, and that was today's bite-sized Bible from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 15 and 16, and I shall see you next time.